Can I welcome everyone to the ninth meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Agenda item one is to propose the committee takes item seven, which is on our work programme in private. Does the committee agree to that? Indeed. Okay. Uh, agenda item two, considering the draft forestry EU exit Scotland amendment, etc. regulations 2019, laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. We're looking at this instrument in terms of the SSI protocol. It's laid under the affirmative procedure, uh, so we're only considering the low categorisation recommended by the government. And our advisers indicate that the categorisation could be appropriate. Um, so as the committee content, the instrument is appropriately categorised as of low significance. Okay. Uh, item three, uh, we're looking at instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. And the first one is the Draft Scotland Act 1998 transfer of functions to the Scottish Ministers, etc. Order 2019. This relates to the assessment of the environmental impact of electricity generating stations situated in the Scottish part of the Renewable Energy Zone. As a Scotland Act order, it's also being considered in each house at Westminster. It contains a minor drafting error relating to the citation of the Scotland Act 1998. Full details can be found in our correspondence with the Government, which is included in our papers. Um, it appears there's no need currently to correct the minor error, but if the order requires to be amended at a later date, then the Scottish Government has undertaken to work with the UK Government to adjust the provision. Does the Committee wish to draw the order to the attention of the Parliament under the general reporting ground, as it contains a minor drafting error in paragraph 1 of Article 4? OK, uh, there are further two draft affirmative instruments on our agenda. Our advisers have not raised any points on them. Um, the instruments are the Motorsport on Public Roads Scotland Regulations 2019 and the Plant Health EU Exit Scotland Amendment, etc. Regulations 2019. Uh, in addition, we've also had before us the technical scrutiny of the Forestry EU Exit Regulations we looked at under item two. No points have been raised by our advisers, but it's worth highlighting that both this instrument and the plant health instrument just mentioned have been relayed by the Scottish Government to correct a couple of errors. Is the committee content with these instruments? Thank you. Um, item four, we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. The first one is the Seed and Propagating Material EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations, SSI 2019-59. Uh, this amends a number of marketing regulations for seed and plant propagating materials. It does, however, contain errors relating to the definition of an EU regulation, a reference to an EU directive and a redundant provision. And the full details of these issues uh, identified by our legal advisers can be found in our correspondence with the Government, which is included in our published papers. Uh, does the Committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament under reporting ground H on the basis that the meaning of regulation EC 1829 stroke 2003 could be clearer with reference to the unnecessary definition in regulation 92A9 of the instrument. Okay. Does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the parliament on the general reporting ground in respect of the issues identified in the papers in regulation 13, 5C and D, as well, as well as Regulation 167 a of the instrument. And does the committee wish to welcome the Government's undertaking to rectify the errors I just referred to in Regulations 9 and 16 at the next available opportunity? And does the committee wish to call on the Government to use that opportunity to also amend the error I referred to in Regulation 13 of the instrument? Okay. Furthermore, part three of the instrument inserts provisions into a number of the marketing regulations for seed and plant propagating material that refer to, quote, legislation recognised by the Scottish ministers to have equivalent effect 
to various regulations. Does the committee wish to welcome the government's intention in due course to amend the relevant marketing regulations to insert appropriate references to any specific legislation recognised as equivalent? Okay. The next instrument is the Education Fees and Student Support Miscellaneous Amendments, EU Exit Scotland Regulations, SSI 2019-70. This instrument contains drafting errors relating to references to provisions that do not exist. The Scottish Government's undertaken to correct the references at the next legislative opportunity. Full details can again be uh, found in our correspondence with the Government which is included in our published papers. So does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the general reporting ground as there are drafting errors in Regulation 9.2? Yes. Okay. Next instrument is the Agriculture Market Measures EU Exit Scotland Amendment Regulations SSI 2019-73. This appears to be defectively drafted as it removes an offence provision contrary to the Scottish Government's intention. The Government has undertaken to make an amending instrument by the end of this month so that the errors don't have any effect. Full details uh, can again be found in our correspondence with the Government, which is in our published papers. Does the Committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground I, as Regulation 5.3 appears to be defectively drafted? And there are further four negative instruments on our agenda. Our advisers have not raised any points on any of them. The instruments are SSIs 2019, 71, 75, 77 and 78. Is the committee content with these? Thank you. Uh, item five, uh, we're considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. Our advisers have not raised any points on SSI 2019-72, is the committee content with this instrument? Okay. And item six is consideration of the government's response to our stage one report on the management of Offenders Scotland Bill. Does the committee wish to note the government's response? Okay, and I'll move the meeting into private. <laughs>